meteorologist Brian yeah. Schofield. Well, we gotta get a break from the wind today, it feels like. It's really cranked it's up. Dusty, yeah, yeah. yeah. For, good thing it won't last until the late evening hours or anything like that. As a matter of fact, the wind advisory, remember, ends at 10, and the winds will probably calm down before then, It'll calm down better at least. Uh, but Manley Bay Camp, it's, it's strapped down pretty well, so there's not, nothing gonna stir that around. But let me show you the temperatures are equally impressive as the wind, 63 right now in Henderson. Now, records are in the 70s today, but still. I mean, yesterday records were in the 60s, so that would have been a more impressive number. But either way, winds out of the southwest, 30, gusts to 41 miles per hour. Even sustained winds very impressive at 24, but gusts to 41, 66 at McCarran Airport. It is January, and barely that. So we're, we should be in the deep cold spell, but either way. Satellite radar, we told you we might even be able to uh, inch out maybe a little bit of a sprinkle, and that's just a maybe, and it's in the local mountains, if any at all. But for the most part, we're dodging all of this. Uh, the front approaching will not bring us much in the way of moisture, but it will cool things down, mainly for tomorrow. But ahead of it and behind it, there'll be some sort of wind element with it, and that's what we've been watching. And then beyond that, when's our next best chance for rain? Because once the wind calms down, things will look pretty tame for at least the start of the weekend, and maybe even a little bit of the end of the week. We could bring in some maybe isolated showers, but I think by Monday we're really going to crank up the chances. As the jet stream lowers, that will push any sort of moisture, any sort of storm system closer, ever present to our area, and then it'll be very impressive to see maybe a little more rain widespread across the valley than we have, because we've only been getting just little sprinkles here and there, a little light shower, and then for the middle of the week, all that lifts out again and we dry things out. So let me show you how that works out in just a moment. Mount Charleston weather, let's just take a look at that for the weekend. Uh, with some of that moisture coming in, could eke out some uh, flurries, certainly uh, maybe see some interesting conditions throughout the weekend, so we'll be watching the local mountains. But across the valley, that'll be a different story. Uh, sprinkles maybe by Sunday, maybe even a few light showers. Notice temperatures come down with that cold front that comes through. So 63 right now in Henderson. Tomorrow we're talking 53, so uh, temperatures will drop at least 10 degrees in most areas. Uh, middle to upper 50s to right around 60 degrees. And then some good chances for showers come in with some breezy conditions. And then you can see we hold on to those 60s just for a few more days we'll take them to. All right, back to you, Carla. Thanks, Brian.